And you can see that right now in KRE, we are late and this is looking just like a sideways move that is really set up for one more wave on the downside prior to forming that low. You will see that there is a low due. Over the next, I would say month or so, we would look for a bottom to form here in the KRE. And then we would look for this to turn back up to the upside. We're looking for a move down to that 44 level on the intermediate term. If we jump over here, you'll see what I'm looking at here in KRE. We have now lost this old low at 46.98. So we have seen an early high now in all likelihood form. And the highest odds would be that we would see overall a series of lower highs and lower lows until this next trough forms. And that's due out around mid May. So right now, if we see a little move back to the upside into this zone here, 47.40 to 48.26, we will be looking for it to fail around there, then curl its way back down into these zones right here from 45.08 to 43.59. If it moves through the 78.6 here at 48.74, then this would be marked as a loser. Okay, so that's our look here at the short side biased intermediate term short in the KRE.